What's going on, everybody? Welcome to G Myers World, and it's another week, and we have to discuss the replay players. But before we get into the replay players, I want to let you see exactly what's going on. First of all, I'm going to touch on this because there's a lot of people that's been asking it, and a lot of you guys don't, um, you know, listen throughout my videos in its entirety. Shout out to all you guys that watch every single minute; it's so much appreciated. But I've already told you guys about this actually in live stream as well on Twitch. I don't think it's worth it for you to do this objective with the Mutt Heroes 2. That's why I didn't even bring it up. Because, yeah, you're going to you're gonna get a million coins. It's going to cost you so much money, so many coins to do it. Even if you do it in the weirdest way possible, a lot of you guys are like, yeah, bro, I got 97 farm accounts. I'm, bro, listen, if you got that much time in your hands, bro, you should be a billionaire. All right? But for the people that are really asking should they do it, if you're going to buy the packs and you just want to complete it, it's fine. But if you're a grinder and you don't want to, you know, waste your time to get a million coins by spending all this stuff and most of these guys are total garbage which i have a video coming out very shortly i'm going to show you i rage sold every mutt hero that i got and there's so many other things that are coming guys they all the cards just suck and that's specifically in seasons and um weekend league because in mutt drafts the gameplay is so much smoother and so much better all right now if you guys are not aware of it the weekly replay it works like this i always try to go through it each time you guys got to win you know Five games, you got to pass 300 yards in a game, 1,000 yards total. Like, you got to do these things, all right? And then when you do these things, you're going to get a free, uh, you know, weekly replay pack, and you get a loyalty token, which at this point, I think we have, like, five, right? Because this, this is six. So you should you should be able to get your sixth one after this, all right? So you do all that stuff within any solo, you know, whatever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you an example of what's going on with it. But let me show you the players that are going on. Now, you can see right there you have Andy Dalton. And Michael Brockers, or however you want to say his name. Though I'm not even going to pay attention to what's going on with that. But the actual, um, the players that I want you to see for week six, though, is, um, let's go ahead and look right here. The offensive player, this fat left tackle right here. Now, the players that go into it, Andy Dalton, stuff like that, uh, none of these cards do anything for me. If you wanted a guy that you wanted to use in your team for like a budget squad, I don't know why this guy is so expensive. This doesn't make any sense. He's a 94 speed. Okay, that's probably why. But his juke move and elusiveness, spin move, you know, you need 90s. He only got the bare minimum for the juke move. I don't see why it's so expensive. Also, when it comes to left tackles, um, I don't I don't know if this guy is worth all the coins that you would have to spend. Because why is he that much? What's Andy Dalton's price? Yeah, that's weird that they would... I, I don't know. E EA is up to something with this. I don't know if they're not putting a lot of them out in the packs or whatever, but I wouldn't waste time with any of these cards uh if you if you're looking to um make some coins you could get packs and try to get rid of it right now i would suggest that also with the elite tokens if you're looking to do stuff because it's been pretty high right now but they haven't been selling at the high raise price but it's a way that you might get lucky to get them off for like 60 because they, they were up at like 80k the other day and i don't know who's doing that and why it's happening but it was available now we go to cameron wake as a left end he also has a read and react chem um this is the michael brockers that i just said like most of these guys you could pull packs probably get lucky i don't see why let me see what is the speed looking like 67 yeah, okay all right bro like i said these cards are pure trash but that's not why we do it i think scandra got traded to another team within the division right did he go to the redskins yo fill me in on that chat i was looking through twitter and i saw that he got traded yesterday or something uh, or, or signed or whatever shout out to him man i hope he has a successful career uh finishes off well he seemed like a good guy every time that i've seen him do interviews so you know, wish that guy the best. I don't know what the Cowboys are doing. All right, so look, now that you see what's going on with that whole situation, what we do is this. You see what you need to do, right? We need, we already done that in the game. You need another 600 yards and you need to rush for 500, right? So what I'm going to do is because we have to get, we need to get 600 yards, I'm going to show you how you can do it, how I do it in one game, all right? So we're going to go into a solo challenge. We're going to go to boss battles. You guys should be doing your boss battles. By the way, I'm done with Cam Newton. I'll get to that in another video, but he's completely done. I hate him, and um, yeah, we'll leave it at that. I'm also going to be probably adding Evan Ingram to my to my team uh, very soon also, the new Evan Ingram, uh, because I'm not... I, when it comes to Mutt head-to-head -head seasons and the actual weekend league, speed doesn't matter as much as it should. In Mutt drafts, that mode makes sense as far as the speed is um, situated. Like, you can actually burn people deep step for step in mutt drafts. I don't know why they have the other mode so trash, but that's a whole other situation. But if you're just looking to enjoy some Madden, I would recommend doing mutt drafts. 
And um, that's as far as we're going to go with it. But again, we need like 600 something yards, right? So pretty much what you do in these games is you throw, you know, you throw a lot of yards, you run backwards, you throw a lot of yards and you get what you need and then you get out of the game. All right. That's pretty much what you do when you do when you do this type of stuff in the game. And um, you have these solos to do. So why not utilize it to do it for the weekly, uh, the weekend, whatever, the weekly replays or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? If you want to get your loyalty tokens, because it's just good to have the free cards that they give, because whether we like it or not, and um, the gameplay is disgusting uh, in seasons and weekend league, you're going to play the game anyway, because you're going to want to continue to hope that. Well, don't waste your hope on that. Don't don't. That's another thing. Don't waste your hope on EA Sports. You know, just l let's hope for a cure for childhood cancer, stuff like that. Like this game is just doing so many bad things to people, and it's just not right. And like I, I was telling my stream earlier, if I had a wish, like right now, I would wish that I could take all the developers to ancient Greece, and we could just you know go like the gladiator and just fight to the death, bro. And all we could use is um like mad like Madden ways to uh, counteract each other. You know, like how. You do rock, paper, scissors. Like, if I say aggressive catch, you got to say, it doesn't matter what I do. Like, you got to be able to beat what I say in regards to Madden, and then you would survive. And the loser would have to, you know, drop into the pit of death. Like, you know, it's sort of like the gladiator stuff. Not, nothing really crazy, you know what I'm saying? But I was just thinking about it, because they're not they're not liable, realistically, for the stuff that they're putting us through. If you, you, if you really think about it, they, they're only getting rewarded more and more for the stuff that's going on, and the game is getting worse. Okay, drop. Oh, drop. Oh, okay. He caught it. All right. So look, this is what we're gonna do, right? Just for this this scenario right here, we're already right here. So, um, hold on. What do we, who do I have? Do I have Grunk? Dwight Clark. Why is Dwight Clark there? So who's this? Why is my? Okay, I don't want Michael Irvin there. Put Tomlinson there, and then put Bo Jackson there. All right. So it's on arcade mode. Okay. So this is what we're gonna do, right? We're gonna th we're gonna go up to like the ten yard line. And why did I just change the play like that? We're going to go to like the 10-yard line and then come back. All right, why is he? Okay, it's aggressive. We got aggressive catch him. Let's go. It's it's arcade mode, guys. I'm going to go a little bit more, and then I'm going to run back. I'm going to run backwards and just keep doing the yards over and over again. And each time, I like I said, you can average 1,000 yards doing this, but I'm not going to go that far for now. You see, you see like how the game acts stupid? It's arcade mode. So you can just keep throwing the ball up in the air like a complete and utter idiot, and you'll, be, you'll get rewarded for it in Madden. You'll get rewarded for it. This is a game that, yeah, I can't, I can't tell you, man. I just, I'm, I'm just at wit's end with it. But you guys keep me going. I appreciate you guys watching my videos and letting me know, like, yo, listen, Jimmy, it's going to be okay, even though we all know it won't be. I just appreciate you guys lying to me. So, look, this is what we're going to do. 30, 20, 10. All right. Go out of bounds over here. Now, it's a lot of different ways you can do this. For me, it doesn't really matter. I just, you know, I come out, I do whatever because be – because we know it's arcade mode, it doesn't really matter how we do it. Um, and as you can see, I got rid of a lot of people. My team, I don't know, why do I have Clark over there, though? I should put Mike Vick over there just so I can really get the speed one time. But it don't matter, whatever. He dropped the ball, all right, whatever, whatever. Because Dwight Clark is not really going to burn anyone. You know what I'm saying? But Mike Vick will. And if Mike Vick doesn't, if Mike Vick doesn't burn him, I can aggressive catch with him because it's arcade mode. You see what I'm saying? So going back and forth over and over again is pretty much how you would just accumulate the yards to do whatever. So look, we can wait, we can wait, we can wait, and then we'll just throw it deep. And then Mariota's arm, his, his arm strength is really sucky. His arm, his arm power sucks. Like, what was that about? Like, he just really threw the ball. The funny thing is, every quarterback would have probably did that anyway. And then, again, you keep doing that and go backwards, backwards, whatever, and then you continue to throw the ball forward. And then you'll get all the yards you need. Now, where we are right now, we're going to go to the end zone and just aggressive catch. And then uh, we should be good. And keep in mind, only because it's arcade mode, guys. Do not do this in other modes. Because you'll throw picks against the CPU and then you end up throwing your console against the wall, all right? So I don't want you guys doing that. So that's pretty much what we're doing right now. And that's how you would repeat it. You'll go up, you go back. you go up, you go back. And you keep doing that like that, all right? Um, other than that, we have some more gameplay coming out. I got to give you guys the rest of my draft, uh, the draft champions of a season that I just played. You guys are definitely going to enjoy it. I'm pretty sure you will. They are full games. So I want to know right now, leave it in the comments if you're going to watch the full game, because one game is going to make your eyeballs pop out. You're not going to believe the ridiculousness that I did. And I'm not proud of what I did in the game, bro. Like the things that when you, I, I don't want to give you guys too much, but I threw a pass that should have been picked all over the place, bro. And nothing happened. EA just let me do it.
So I'm mad at myself because I, you know, like, I'm just not proud of it, bro. Like, why did I do it to myself like that? Like, just throw it. He's wide open right there. Okay, that was fake. Or, or Anthony Barge is a glitch. Like, that was, that, yeah, that was, that was kind of fake right there. That was fake. All right, so, like, that, that's pretty much what you would need to do. And I don't want to um, waste your time with it. So what I'll do is I'll just take some knees. What, what is, why am I on ball carry? What the, what is this? Oh, okay, there it goes. All right, we'll chew clock, and I'm going to take some knees or whatever like that and just run the clock down because you pretty much got the gist of it. You just keep, you know, going for first downs, okay, and then running backwards all the way and doing it again, going back and forth, whatever. I've been doing it in a lot of uh, separate videos so that everybody can catch it because what happens is you guys start asking the same questions on different videos, and it's like, yo, how much, you know, you, you didn't see it, you didn't see it, but a lot of you guys don't get to watch all of them, so I try to make sure that regardless of the video you're watching, I try to touch on some of the same things because a lot of you guys enjoy the game a lot more than I do, and that's fine. That, that's what it's supposed to be. That's why you're supposed to you know, watch other people's content and enjoy what they're doing because of their perspective. But trust me when I tell you, this, ga this game is killing me slowly inside. Like it's, it's probably the worst experience I've ever had in my life. Um, overall, it's been going on for the last three years. 16, 17, and 18 has been complete uh, trash heaps. And um, it's, it's gotten worse over the time. So anyway, we're going to just go ahead and throw this dot. And we can just lay down right there. And then because we have it on two clock, we'll just let it go to the end of the half. Are they, they going to do that or not? Uh, are they going to let us go to the half? Because I, I can still use the touchdown towards our Ultimate Master. Um, that's another thing that's huge. I got to win some more games for Ultimate Master. But I'm changing my entire scheme. Okay, go ahead. Just catch the ball right in traffic. Yeah. Arcade mode. Yeah, guys. Just throw the ball up in the air, bro. Don't even worry about it, bro. EA wants you to do it. They want you to do this madness, bro. As bad as that just looked, EA loves it. Like, somebody just got turned on at EA Sports when I just did that. Like, completely turned on. Like, yo, this dude is playing and doing aggressive catches. It's just unbelievable that they have... Whoever allows it to go on... I, I don't know how it works, man. I just don't know how it works. So, what we're going to do is this. I'm going to take two knees. Um, let me move up a little bit. I'll move up a little bit because you guys pretty much have the gist of it. I'm going to take a couple knees so that we can get out of the game. And I'll show you how... You know, me running back and forth. It only adds... You it, you, you don't want to do it for the uh, rushing yards because the rushing yards is kind of complicated because for some reason, when you pass the ball and run backwards, it gets stupid. So with the rushing part, it won't count. Um, it won't take away from the yards or anything like that. I think a lot, I think somebody asked that. Like when you run backwards like that, does it take away from your rushing yards? No, it does not. Okay? It just adds to your passing yards when you run back. And then you go all the way back, you get another first down, run back, you keep doing it. You can do it as many times as you want up and down the field. You know, some people go real psycho with it and keep it going for a while. I don't want to do it like that, but that's just my uh, my preference. You know, I, I, I can take a 1,000 yards a game and just be good with it. Some of you guys can't. You guys want to go for the whole gusto. That's fine. Whichever way you want to do it, just make sure that you guys all know we have the same common goal. And that's getting Night Train Lane and Rage selling them within the hour. All right? Um, well, most of you guys probably won't Rage sell them because... He probably will be the best corner on your team. Um, but Champ Bailey's still out there balling. All right, so now that we know it's 4th and 13, let me see what kind of D they what, what, what are they doing? All right, just throw it to him. It don't, it don't, care. It don't matter. All right, okay, good. Good play. Good play, Vic. Good play. Guys, such a freaking idiot. All right, let's go. Are they going to run the ball here? They might. They might run it. They might just run it, yeah. Let me see what they do, though. Will they run it? Go ahead. Do something weird. Do something weird. Go ahead. Yep. There you go. No, that's a pass. Oh, toss. Oh, you think? Oh, you. Oh, you probably a pro player. I'm playing a pro player right now. Your dude's running toss. Okay. All right. So now it's gonna be the two minute warning, which is what's interesting about it. They should go to all passes. Once we intercept the ball, we'll throw for a touchdown. And once you go up by three scores, the computer will stop calling timeout, so it works out. But that's what they're gonna do right now. They're gonna probably. Um. Yeah, they're gonna probably do it like this. Let me see. Can we get a pick, though? I don't know. Let's let, let's see what happens. All right. Nope. Throw right here. Throw right here. Throw right here, though. Okay. You just going to run it in for six? All right. All right. Who got it? The ball was still in Stafford's hand, though. I don't... That looked really weird. That looked really, that looked really weird. That, that looked like it was in Matthew Stafford's hand, bro. I'm not going to sit up here and set trip. That looked like it was in Matthew Stafford's hands. That was weird. Don't worry about it. Just keep running for six. Don't worry, don't worry about it. Yeah, guys, this is, it's arcade mode. It's arcade mode, guys. Don't even worry about it. Don't, don't even have mercy, bro. Like, don't even worry about anything. Just keep doing it. 
All right, so now we'll just take a knee. We could run back and do whatever, but we'll just take a knee and um, continue to wind down the clock. We could, you know, again, right here, you could run backwards and then throw another dot and then go past that line and do it over and over again. But again, I'm, I'm really, really close to completing the yardage part. Um, I think I need like 7,000 7, more yards, maybe. Is that what I need? I don't know. I don't know. For Ultimate Master, but obviously for this, you need 1,000 to get your loyalty badge. But I still got to wait till tomorrow to do my next, um, my next daily objective. So to me, it doesn't really matter. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a first down. As long as everything goes according to plan, I'll get a first down right here. And then that'll be it. That'll be it for this. And then we can go on with our day. Hold on. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yep. Go ahead. Dot. All right. Go right there. Drop. Just drop. He went backwards, bro. He went backwards, bro. He Did they give me the first down? All right. Good. thought they were going to give me inches. You know, EA love giving out inches, bro. All right, okay, so they're going to still have it like that. We're just going to take the knee and uh, get out this game. So one more knee, and then I'll show you exactly where I am. And a lot of you guys said that all you're waiting on is the daily objectives. You guys are true grinders, bro. I've, I've lost all my urge to grind for it because realistically, I just want to play mutt drafts. But I started, you know, doing the ultimate master. I'm going to finish it. So that's pretty much where I am right now. But mutt drafts, I really enjoy. I'll rage in mutt drafts like you're going to see in the videos that I, that I got coming soon. But it's not that bad of a rage. You know what I'm saying? It's not that bad. It's, it's not like the rage that I get from Mutt head to head. Because the Mutt the mud head to head rage is like real pure, like pure hatred for everything that EA is doing. Um, but it's just amazing to me that the modes differ so much. All right. So now that we've seen, we've done that and you guys got a gist of what you would have to do to accumulate a lot of yards, I'm going to show you the update about where we are with Ultimate Master and also show you where we are we're doing just this, whatever we just did just a while ago. And just to let you guys see that it doesn't affect the Russian yards. All right. So here we go. We're going to go back to um, objectives in progress. All right. And then you're going to see right here, with weekly replay, we, we had like, what, 400 before. Now we have 682. So you see it, it continues to accumulate. And I think we, and we even got rush yards. I don't know how we did that. I think we had 88 before we went to the video or whatever. So that's pretty much how you would accumulate it. And if an ultimate master, how many yards do I need? Okay, so I need about, what's that, one, 6,000, about a little bit more than six, and then rushing yards, another 4,000 something. So we're pretty close, but we're not as crazy and glitchy as you guys are, all right? So those are your requay, uh, did I say requay? Replay player summary, a little bit more information about completing the objectives and your loyalty tokens. And um, if you guys have any other questions, you know, you guys know what to do, leave it in the comments. Subscribe, share, get a video view goal of about 50K. I'm gonna see you guys and girls next time, man. One love.